Today I have one of the most insane builds that I've ever seen on 2K24. And this build can get a 90 plus attribute in each category. It is one of the most all around builds in the game. I mean, it can shoot lights out. It can hit defenders with the acrobatic layups. Of course it can ISO and create its own shot. And last but not least, it's gonna be able to play defense as well. All that I ask before we get into how to make the build is make sure y'all like up the video and hit that sub button if you're new. And let's not waste no more time. Let's hop straight into it now off rip i went point guard with mom but you can go shooting guard as well but these are the only two positions you can go do not go small forward because you would not get the pro dribble stop but then after you choose your position you just want to go 6-6 six, six, 213 and 67 on the wings fan now off rip i wanted my build to be different than other people's because i like having a layup now if you don't like having a layup remember always adjust these builds any way you want but i went with a 91 at this point in the year i've used so many dunking builds i've used so many shooting builds i've used everything i wanted a layup so i went with a layup and not only that it's cheaper than dunk and it's pretty much just as effective and here's just a couple clips of me finishing at the rim you can change out of your layups and stuff too you can always go to the floater and then you also get really good animations as you'll see right here cross back over to the left hop step that's just a smooth layup now for your shooting this is overkill as well i went with a 98 mid-range so all for we got us a 91 layup and a 98 mid-range these are two crazy attributes off the rip you can change them if you like but if you take a look at that right side over there you will automatically see why i went with that 98 we have everything now since we had such a high mid-range i didn't go with the highest three but we're gonna take it up to 86 and get that agent threes on silver now we only have limitless range on bronze but when you have such a high layup already you're already gonna have the mid-range you don't need a super high three as well and also with that mid-range we can get any jump shot that we want so that 86 three we're gonna have tracy mcgrady we're greening every time now for my free throw i maxed it out just so i could get every little free throw that i could in the rank you know anytime somebody gets fouled i want to be able to go to the free throw line now the 98 mid-range is one of my favorite things in the game it's always been super easy to green mid-ranges on 2k now the 98 mid-range is giving you so many shooting badges and really is always giving you the option to fade that you don't really need the 91 layup as well I just went with it so it'd be a little different and be a little bit more fun. And of course, that 86.3 is gonna be perfect. If you haven't used the 85 or 86.3 yet, it feels almost just like a 92 or even like a 95. The only difference is you can't pull up from super deep. You only get that bronze limitless range, but it's still all right. Now for the playmaking, this is once again, something you do not have to do. I went with a 91 pass accuracy. Now I did this because if if I got a high layup or a high dunk, I've told you all this before, I like to have a super high pass I can see so I can bail out if I want to. If you don't got bail out at all and you go up with the layup and say that you just get a bad animation to get contested, you can't throw out of it. So I just like being able to do that. But like I said before, if you really want the sweet spot, it's 77. Now next we have our ball handle and we're gonna take this up all the way until we get to 86. And this is really for that Kimball Walker escape package. I want that, I want all the good dribble moves. We're just not gonna put the speed with ball up with it. Now, if you're making this out of point guard or shooting guard, you're automatically gonna get that pro dribble style, which you are gonna need. If you make this at any other position, you will not get it and your build will be terrible. The only reason we can break the builder like this is for some reason, they just give you pro dribble style off rip and pro dribble style is one of the best dribble styles in the game. So we're gonna get good sigs. We get to keep our speed with ball down, which is gonna save tons of attributes. And you already see the rest of my attribute. Now, some people are gonna be like, well, you get no speed booster i promise you i thought the same thing at first too trust me i tried it out myself and it feels almost the exact same i don't know who works on the badges and stuff at 2k but they they suck at doing their job like this happens every year now playmaking wise this build is going to be as good as any other build y'all you're getting a 91 pass accuracy and you're gonna have a good ball control now i didn't clip every single pass out through but of course you're going to be able to throw good passes with this build now my biggest thing with this build is after you get steals you will see that you are moving up the court a little bit slower that is with the lower speed with ball so you will notice you don't run as fast running up the court but you will see in the half court i feel the exact same it really don't feel like much of a difference at all this is with no speed booster 49 acceleration at this point 
and we only have a 31 speed with ball and we're still moving like this now with that being said that is why i suggested being a shooting guard instead of a point guard because like i said you are slower coming up the court you can still get the ball up the court but of course it'll be easier for somebody with speed with ball half court wise though i mean you're not gonna feel the difference you see it don't really matter who's guarding me i'm getting my open shots and i really can do anything i can go for the three I can go for the mid range. I can also go for that floater layup. It does not matter. And then I have a 91 pass accuracy to complement it all. And that's why this build is so good, just by taking that speed with ball down and not using it. Now, for the defense, we're going to go straight to our perimeter and we're going to get it up to a 71. And then we are going to take the steal all the way up to 85. And this is the one category that you could make a little bit better if you wanted. Like I said already, you could live with a 77 pass accuracy. You could take this mid range down to a 92 or whatever this layup could live at an 88 it could live at an 80 you could even take it all the way down if you want because you have such a high bit range and then you would probably even get to get up to like a 90 steal and even like a 94 perimeter defense if you wanted but for me this is just what i felt like doing now the last thing we're going to put on our defense we're going to take this interior up to a 56 and it's because we're going to end up with extra attributes later on but y'all see all these attributes and we're still only a 90 potential overall now for our speed i wanted this higher i wanted to still be able to run around without the ball and stuff we're gonna put it at an 84 now acceleration we're just gonna bump it up one because we got extra attributes later on for our strength i'll put it all the way up at an 83 we have a super hot layup and stuff i wanted to get the bulldozer badge fearless finisher we got that of course and then physical handles i wanted to make sure i had that hall of fame not only that though with the little bit of defense that we do have i wanted to make sure i got that immovable enforcer badge as well and the last thing that you will need to do is max that stam out in there you go you have yourself a demigod this build is going to be able to finish at the rim be lights out shooting wise you're going to be able to die anybody anytime you need and you'll also be able to hold your own on defense and you got some strength like we're just all around and after you click through all that it's going to pop up and tell you that you are a diamond three level threat you can do everything on this build now if y'all want my six and jumper for the build as well this is my jumper right here tracy mcgrady is the best base in the game and then of course you can switch up the releases if you like but I always go kobe is number one oscar number two 37 63 and then of course max b and then for my sigs my passing style is tyrese dribble style like i said you automatically get that pro then we go tracy pro zach levine kimba walker james harden john wall and y'all get the point i ain't gotta keep on saying it so take that jump shot these sigs Devin Booker layup style and Kobe Bryant fadeaway and you're not gonna lose man you should be cooking everybody but yeah y'all that's all I got for y'all boys today this will probably be my last time showing a build tutorial because I mean it's late in the year at this point I'm gonna catch y'all boys next time and I'm out peace